an island has appeared off the Carolina coast and what scientists have found there is fascinating in a wild stretch of sea off the coast of North Carolina sharp-eyed observers began to notice something unusual emerging from the waves over time a brand new island appeared stretching for a mile through treacherous waters and when investigators finally reached it they were amazed by what they found during the summer months the Outer Banks is one of North Carolina's most popular tourist destinations a string of islands and sandbars the picturesque expanse extends for some 200 miles off the eastern coast of the United States boasting a subtropical climate the Outer Banks separate the sheltered inlets of the North Carolina coast from the raging power of the Atlantic Ocean but as rising sea levels storms and development all take their toll the landscape of these islands is constantly shifting because of this residents in the communities scattered across the islands are used to seeing land masses come and go so when a spit of sandy ground first began to emerge from the ocean in April of 2017 nobody paid much attention yet the new island just off Cape Hatteras on Hatteras Island continued to grow over the next few months the tiny bump of land became an impressive new island in fact by June of that year it had reached one mile in length across meanwhile it was thought to span the width of as many as three football fields and local historian Danny couch says it's the largest example of this phenomenon that he's seen in many years every 10 to 15 years we'll get something that's pretty dramatic couch told National Geographic in June of 2017 but this one is the largest I've seen in my lifetime soon then explorers began to take note of this exciting new feature of the North Carolina coast but what exactly is the island and how did it spring up seemingly from nowhere the answer lies in the interesting geology of the area in fact those who study the coastline consider it to be one of the most changeable underwater environments in the world at the heart of it all is Cape Point a popular surfing spot located on the eastern edge of Cape Hatteras there the cold waters of the Labrador current meet the warm waters of the Gulf Stream and when this happens the two leave chaos in their wake you get lots of energy lots of storms lots of turmoil lots of complex and dynamic currents geology professor Stanley Riggs told National Geographic the land to the north is skinny 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 so skinny you can throw a baseball across it to the south are some of the few beaches in North Carolina that are actually growing so as these currents along with hurricanes and tropical storms batter the coast around Cape Point the beaches often change shape and size Meanwhile, underwater a series of sandbars are constantly shifting. In other words, the island has always been there, it's simply been lying just beneath the waves. Yet in spring 2017, meteorological conditions conspired to bring the island to the surface. When a mild winter in North Carolina created a high pressure system, southwesterly winds began to build up more sand on top of the bar. Finally then, the mass grew large enough to break through the surface of the waves. At first onlookers observed the island safely from land but then they started to crave a closer look unable to reach the mysterious new landmass on foot though photographer Chad Casera came up with a novel approach he flew his drone over the coastal expanse capturing some stunning shots of the Virgin Isle in the process soon intrepid adventurers began making their way to the island shores and what they found there would blow them away far from being a desert void of any signs of life the sandbar was littered with natural relics from the seabed among them were whale bones and clusters of beautiful shells in fact there were so many seashells that one visitor 11 year old Caleb Reagan dubbed the location Shelley Island during his visit in late May 2017 to Reagan's disbelief the name stuck and it's now commonly used by visitors and tourists alike and it isn't just shells that visitors are finding on Shelley Island hauntingly the sandbar is also littered with the remains of ships that were wrecked on the treacherous coast many years ago in fact at least 2,000 vessels have gone down in the area since 1585 earning it the nickname graveyard of the Atlantic meanwhile in the waters around Shelley Island there are even more surprises in wait according to couch these seas have brought with them oceanic manta rays the size of car hoods what's more alongside the rays swim sand tiger sharks relatives of the great white that have been known to occasionally attack humans yet despite fearsome animals and even deadlier currents tourists have been flocking to Shelly Island in droves at times they've even been able to access the sandbar by simply walking from Cape Hatteras however North Carolina officials have been quick to warn visitors about the potential dangers 
Apparently, the sandbar is still frequently cut off from other inhabited islands by the tide, and swimming to shore comes with its own risks. In June, Cape Hatteras National Seashore officials were forced to use a warning after rescuing several people from the water. A shell is not worth your life. Hatteras Island Rescue Squad Assistant Chief Bob Hell told the Virginian pilot in June of 2017. Officials have suggested that, rather than risking their lives in the water, interested parties use paddle boards or kayaks to explore Shelly Island. Those keen to see Shelly Island are advised to do so soon, however. Apparently, the unique conditions that cause the island to suddenly appear could see it vanish just as quickly. Everything here can change overnight, Couch explained. That's what makes it so amazing.